Well, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for joining each and every time you guys do decide to join me, but I got another one for you today. Yep. Road King upgrades, man. We've done some work to the Road King. I'll show you in a second. Just hold your horses. But let me let me let me say this first. Like, subscribe. Okay? Help the channel grow. Secondly, um if you come for Road King content, do me a favor and comment on the comment section and tell me, hey, I came for the wrong key content. We got two bikes on this channel. They're not fighting for first. I'm trying to make them 50-50, but my road glide is has about 75% of the uh, content on the channel, but the road king is getting a lot of stuff done. And I want to show you guys, but I want to make sure you're interested. Make sure I got my audience behind me. So I'm going to turn you guys around because I want to make this quick. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see the Road King, see the upgrades. I'm going to go over what we've already done, but then I'm going to put some icing on the cake. All right, guys, if you don't know, now you know. 2022 Road King Special Mineral Green Denim. That's the color. Um, We call this bike The King. That's his name. Yeah, he's The King. Uh, He is not a race bike. He is a daily driver, but he's making his way, man. <laughs> he has definitely shaken a few... Uh, people's tree yeah i'll say that he's shaking some trees but like i said guys he's not a race bike he's just been put together and he's gonna be a good daily riding bike we've done so many upgrades guys i'm gonna just start from the beginning i've only had this bike about six months i think we might have about six thousand miles on it taking a few uh three six hour trips with the bike it's been a daytona been back been a daytona a couple of times ridden to daytona uh, I did bring this bike to Daytona for bike week. I did a lot of riding around the strip with this bike. I mean, it's just a good daily fun riding bike. Now, you're probably looking at it if you've never seen this bike before. Let's start from the front. Uh, 21 inch BST wheel, 17 inch rear BST wheel. You guys already know the power plant. I'm not gonna really go over that yet because we're gonna have some upgrades and things coming for that soon. But Thunderhead of Stan, um, T-Man air filter stand. Most of everything is staying on that bike, man. It's uh, tuned with Power Vision. It's on E85. Nice, good, healthy, clean running bike. Um, guys, I know you're going to ask me about E85. Ask me on the real official Mac, man. Get to me on the real official Mac. I'll try and help you guys out as much as I can. You know that. But getting back to the subject at hand. So... Galford rotors, 21-inch wheel. Um, everything else is really Harley. Harley rim, um, trim, bezel in the front, windshield, Harley 12-inch bars. Guys, I know you see I got two sets of turn signals. These will be eliminated soon. I did reverse the um, mirrors. I just like to look under my arm instead of up ahead over my arm to look behind me. It's just a force of habit. Um, Arlen S. Yeah, Arlen S. No, I'm sorry. It's not all in us. It's Performance Machine, man. I'm sorry. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Yeah, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Performance Machine grips. I like the Renthal style grips. Very comfortable uh, for daily riding and especially in hot weather. Now, for the new things we got on there. Ah, since I, I already let the cat out the bag. All in floorboards. These are called the speed liners. I did get the whole kit. So we have everything to the speed liners. And one thing about these speed liners floorboards, they are... 16 inches i do wear a size nine and a half shoe so you can see the difference there um we have the controls we have everything i'm gonna go around here to show you guys shift linkage um the shifter itself got the bracket for the easy shifting which is this right here got the whole kit and caboodle man uh shout out to bad boy cycles because they got a lot to do with this bike and i'm gonna tell you guys in a second but if you remember they did my derby cover for me i remember a lot of guys like that derby cover reach out to them man um but they're not the only ones that really helped out to the, with this bike yeah they're not the only ones but i'm gonna go over all their accessories and then i'm gonna go over everybody's accessories so let's start it again uh if you look at this bike you'll see my seat I'm, i think that's one of the big things that stand out reach out to bad boy cycles hey this is a prototype seat I'm trying to get something a little bit more for drag racing. Now you see the lumbar support on this seat is a little taller than your average. So the Venom seat is kind of loosely what this is based off of, but we're still trying to figure out how to get this seat even better. I don't want to move backwards when I'm launching this bike. So 
that's what this seat is going to be built for we shave the sides a little bit further down from your average venom we're probably going to do a bit 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 more shaving on this seat we got a lowered um back seat rest the bracket is lowered so there's really no gap i'm trying to keep myself snug in there and also this is reinforced i don't know if you guys can see it right here come on camera there we go you see it's reinforced so if you're a heavier guy or you're doing drag racing Reach out to them and tell them, hey, I need mine reinforced so it does not flex. You don't want any flex here, okay? Enough flex for when you lean on it, but not any flex when you um, are trying to drive it pretty hard. Uh, so now, the next person who really helped out with this bike. First of all, George. George is all up in here. George, all American Cycles did the motor, okay? Now, you might not notice, but these aren't the same saddlebags, man. Yeah, these are the shorties. These are the short standard size saddlebags. Remember, this bike is a special. That's why it's the blacked out version. But these are, they would come on if they had a standard version of it um, or a limited version of it, the short saddlebags. Shout out to Avan Black. Yeah, saddlebags and lids. They really hooked it up. I don't know if you guys can see, but their paint match, spot on spot on that's why i keep standing behind them they have not let me down yet um if you guys remember bipolar my road glide i've also did the same saddlebags on it now you guys see that little let me see let me see is that a little blue thing right there we're gonna get that we're gonna get over there in a second yeah so they did the saddlebags for me um beautiful really came out nice i like them shorter i like the weight let me back up let me see if i can get you guys up better view of what i'm talking about that's just my thing now man remember now the specials had the ones that wrap around your exhaust this exhaust is not my favorite when it's wrapped by a saddle bag i think it looks a ton more aggressive when you're um when you have the short saddle bag oh i almost showed you guys you might have seen it so anyway <laughs> the saddle bag guards from bad boy cycles as well they hooked it up man it all flows together and one more thing they did for me guys you can reach out to them these are legit cvo bar and shield badges yeah i had to put them on a the bike it really brought the bike out in my opinion it's the little things i want to keep my bike looking harley i don't want to go too far when then you know the bike doesn't look harley anymore um if you look at my windshield yeah i left this chrome we're gonna get this we're gonna get that powder coated pretty soon. I just, I just don't want to take her apart yet. I tell you guys over and over again, this is my daily driver. When I go out to just hang out and have fun and just ride around and cruise with the fellas, this is what I'm on. That other bike comes out when it's time to go to work. <laughs> uh, we got flush mounts, uh, flush uh, gauge for your fuel. Uh, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's coming clear. There we go. Uh, we got the Kozo gauge. Now, if you guys notice, I did swap this out. It is in the off mode. Some guys know what I'm talking about and what I'm going to get to. All I'm going to do is flip my switch up top because we have it CVO style where we flip the switch. Remember, that's in the off position, but my gauge just came on. Yeah, man, I really like this gauge. Um, changes all different colors. So if you have a Road King and you want to get you one with a bigger RPM gauge and it has the miles an hour that shows... You know pretty decent right there and it also has a shift light let me see guys it's right here so if you pay attention when i flip the switch again it's gonna ding. and that's what it looks like when you're running through those gears but uh guys i mean yeah yeah so after i got everything for this bike i'm i'm like 95 percent done with this bike there's only a couple more parts that i want to really put on this bike pretty much almost there have in black once again <laughs> for the win hey they get they hooked it up man chop to a pack chop to a pack um guys i know you might say oh you know they just give you everything da, 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 da. they don't give me nothing i've had this thing for months i've had that for months i've had it all for months i just decided now is the time to put it together and show it off they, they hooked the liner up on the inside i chose green because i felt like it looked like you know stars in there um oh, oh i almost forgot man almost forgot y'all see this hold on y'all see that bad boy cycles again hold on no y'all can't see it no it ain't coming through i gotta i gotta make sure y'all see this 
So if you want the grenade style caps for your, I guess they sit, hold on, let me see. Does it sit? Nope. This one would sit on this side actually. But this is the grenade size caps. You see the pattern in them? They're like a billet. Yeah. So when you do put your tour pack on, if you're not running the tour pack, you put these caps on and cover up the uh, the chrome that's under here. Uh, let me go back to the tour pack one more time. I'm gonna show you, sorry guys, sorry. Sorry, don't get motion sickness on me. This is how it comes. It comes packaged like this, Bad Boy Cycles, man. 10% off, man. MAC-10 is the code to use. Get 10% off. Get yourself hooked up. Buy as much as you want because that 10% off code is going to help you out. So this is what they look like. That would be the front. That's the big one. And this is the back. Come on, work with me, baby. Work with me. All right. That's the back also engraved. I really like it, man. Camera, come on. There we go. I really like it. So, I put that back in there. I'm going to be putting this tour pack together. I know you guys are probably saying, you're never going to use it. I am going to use it. I'll let you know. If you watch my Instagram, I've shown this tour pack once before. Color match, you can't beat it, man. I wouldn't even take a chance. I, my bikes are very difficult colors. I really feel like they're really difficult. First of all, they're difficult to match to anything, but to get somebody to paint, and especially if you've had a bike a year, two years, to make that paint pop and just look the same way as the rest of the bike, it's very hard to do. Six weeks, maybe, takes to get these parts in, but they're pulling them off a shelf, they're painting them, and they're sending them to you. So you can't beat that. So Speedliner, my only gripe, my only gripe with the Arlen S Speedliner floorboards, if your shoe gets wet under the bottom, this is the only place that you might get some traction. The rest is gone. This, because it's polished, that aluminum or, or billet will slip. Your foot will slip. Look how much we got. We got we got a big placement, but you got to watch out. If you do run a T-Man, you might need to space the brake out, space out the uh, floorboards as well. This side, same thing. I'm only running the front. I am going to get the rear shifter on here too. Um... If it's wet, guys, just be careful. You know what I mean? It's not horrible, but it's not great either. Um, but that's where we're at with this bike so far. I think we really got a handle on this bike. It's coming out the way I really want it to. All my Road King guys, thanks for the support. A lot of the guys, you know, shoot me messages, you know, say, hey, try this, try that. And here we are. This isn't a bike I just built to be like, ah, I want to race it. No, it's a perfect platform for racing, but it's the perfect platform for really cruising and enjoying your bike, guys. So, guys, you got any questions, comments, hit me in the Real Official Mac. Hit me in the comment section, man. I try and get back to you guys as soon as I can. I know a lot of guys have asked about um, this windshield, too. Just before I go, perfect. It's high, It has a vent. So once you vent the windshield to however you want it to be right here the wind buffeting yeah really stops it if you if you have a problem with it so that's just to get that out the way but guys i appreciate you for watching joining subscribe until the next time peace